Let's go through each stage in greater detail. At about negative 70 millivolts, the conductance of potassium in the cell is greater than the conductance of sodium, and the cell is at its resting membrane potential. Then a depolarizing event occurs to bring the membrane potential to threshold. Once threshold is reached, voltage-gated channels for both sodium and potassium open. Throughout the rising phase, the conductance of sodium becomes greater than the conductance of potassium, so sodium flows into the intracellular fluid and its positive charge depolarizes the membrane potential even more. The interesting voltage changes in the cell occur because although both of the voltage channels open at threshold, sodium channels have faster kinetics than potassium channels, so they open sooner. Upon reaching zero millivolts, there is no electrical driving force moving sodium in, but there is still a concentration gradient allowing the sodium to enter the cell. The action potential peaks at about 30 millivolts because sodium channels automatically start to close within about 0.5 milliseconds from activation. As we learned, the rising phase is due to an increase in sodium permeability, but here we will see that the falling phase is due to an increase in potassium permeability. The same initial voltage change that opened the sodium channels also triggered opening of the voltage-gated potassium channels. However, potassium channels open much slower than the sodium channels, so they open later and don't inactivate. As sodium channels become inactivated, potassium channels predominate, and the conductance of potassium is again greater than the conductance of sodium. As potassium moves down the electrical and concentration gradients, it leaves the cell and the absence of positive charge drives the membrane potential more negative. Because potassium channels close slowly, the conductance of potassium is greater than at rest at this point, so the membrane potential undershoots the resting potential and approaches the equilibrium potential of potassium. The after hyperpolarization phase is the last phase of an action potential. In this phase, the potassium channels close and the conductance of potassium returns to resting levels. Eventually, the membrane potential comes back to resting levels also, which is about negative 70 millivolts. And that ends our review about action potentials.